it's the new year, so let's kick it off with a song of the week video. Hello everyone, happy 2018. I am Underworld Guardian and welcome back to song of the week number 28. Before we get into the actual video, since it is the new year, take a moment, write down in the comments below, What's your New Year's goals, resolutions, things that you're probably not going to do in the New Year? All of those things, just put them in the comments below. I'm interested to see what you guys are hoping to aspire in 2018. This week, the song is by the band Poets of the Fall, which is a Finnish band. Okay, let's... Who keeps finding these bands from, like, Europe? Like, not that I'm against it, it's just, like, I think, like, the past few song of the weeks I've been doing have been like bands from like far off lands and I'm like <sighs> anyway this band Poets of the Fall is a Finnish band and this week I'm reviewing their song Moonlight Kissed and it is in the indie rock genre maybe not this song but at least the album it came off of is um it was off of the album Clearview which I believe is their seventh fifth or seventh studio album and it was released on September 30th of 2016. Basic knowledge of the song, there has no awards, no special albums, it's not a cover of anything, and it is featured in its own music video, despite it not being a single, or a single as of yet, it's not a single. How did I find this song? Well, <laughs> Buddy Boy Colt, who is a very dedicated fan of the channel, who's also a Patreon supporter. He's given me uh, money on Patreon. Thank you for that. Since he donated twenty dollars to my Patreon for a month, for per month, um, any of his song recommendations come first, unless of I deem otherwise. So thank you, Colt, for giving me this song to review, and I hope you enjoy my review. So let's get into the opinions portion of this video. You can disagree with me, dude, but do it in a respectful manner. So what I noticed musically about this piece, I noticed it was in the key of E minor and it utilized um, piano, strings, in particular low strings, and yeah, basically low strings, a male voice, a mallet percussion, and an electric bass towards the end of the song. There's a quite a few things that I liked about this particular song. The first thing that I liked about this song was that it was very ominous and gave off this very eerie, mysterious vibe. It kind of reminds me of um, the song I reviewed a while ago called um, One Way or Another. It's kind of got that vibe, but not really. It's kind of like not as an eerie vibe, but it's still very mysterious in the fact like you don't know what's going to happen. It also helps that it's in a minor key. Minor keys tend to be more sad and mysterious depending on how you play with them, but I like that it was very ominous and mysterious because usually we hear very upbeat pieces of music and not very sad and depressing music. <laughs> Next thing I liked about this song was that it had a very heavy piano part. So if you wanted to make an arrangement of the song or a transcription or what have you, it's very easy to do because mainly the piano is everything in terms of chords and melody line and it's all there in the piano part you just listen for the piano part and then you got an arrangement right there going back to the eeriness of the piece the strings do help a lot with trying to produce this eerie vibe like they're kind of like there kind of like a drone almost how just like one note just goes on forever they also help with the chords in terms of like chordal structure and whatnot but they primarily um seem to be there to help with the mood, setting the tone and the mood of this piece. Um, and they're not being overpowered, and they're not overpowering. They're like, you can- they're not obvious, but if you listen for them, you can hear them, and then once you hear it, you can hear it, type of thing. The voice, the male voice, um, is able to be heard. That was a critique I had for my last song week, how the male voice was not as powerful as it could have been, or it should have been. Um, the voice was able to be heard and it was in a decent range for the singer so he wasn't struggling to hit notes and it was very pleasant to listen to i wasn't like on the edge of my seat being like make it stop like i enjoyed listening to this guy sing the last thing that i liked that i noticed which i liked <laughs> um it ends on an a minor chord now for those who are not 
theory people out there, or not music people, let me do a little music theory nonsense right now. So in the key of E, in the key of E, we're going to say, in the key of E minor, and if you end on an A minor chord, that is a four chord, a minor four chord in the key of E minor. So usually when you end a song, you usually try to end on the tonic, which would be E in this case, but if you don't end on tonic, usually you might end on the five chord, which in this key would be the B chord, the B major chord. But since it's not, A minor is not the five or the one chord, if it was the one chord, it would be A minor and not E minor, but it's very interesting to end on a different key that isn't the tonic key. Or it's, it's very different, it's very interesting to end on a chord that is not the one chord if that makes sense. Like, usually you want to resolve to one, but with the chord progression leading up to it, which I didn't really interpret that much, I just noticed that it ended on A minor. It just worked, and it sounded right, even though I had to like double check to make sure that this song was in E minor at the very end. I was like, wait, were we in E? Were we in A minor the entire time, or were we in E minor? But I actually really liked how it ended on A minor in the four chord, it was nice. With that being said, there was no dislikes that I had for this song. I don't know, just nothing really stuck out to me that I would dislike about this piece. Overall, out of 10, I would give this song an eight. It's a good song. It's not gonna be on my, like, my 10 out of 10, highly recommend. Like, I highly recommend it, but like, it's not like my 10 out of 10, like, oh my God, go listen to it now, I'm gonna go listen to it again. Like. It's a good song. I'll definitely listen to it again. It's already on my Spotify favorite songs list, but I'm not rushing to go listen to it. It's still good though. I still like it. So that is it for this song of the week. If you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up and let me know down below in the comment section what you think about this song. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you like how it's on this? Do you hate it? What was your thought on the lyrics? Because I couldn't figure out a lyric meaning at all. It was very poetic and it kills me because I can't figure it out. If you want to see more content like the Song of the Weeks or the Synthesias or vlogs or different musical topics that I have planned to talk about, subscribe to my channel via the subscribe button down below or on the sides of this video, wherever they are. And with that, thank you guys for tuning in. Keep practicing. I'll see you guys real soon. Underworld Guardian, out. I see shadow and light stroking I hear voices take flight and send out our wish of peaceful dreams on a night.